Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. A shout out to our neighbors across the border there in Canada. There was a magnitude 3.9 earthquake about 50, 55 miles from Manawaki. It occurred at 6.16 p.m. local time. USGS is not reporting this earthquake. EMSC does not have any felt reports. But this was an interplate earthquake meaning it was nowhere near any plate boundaries. And that's why I thought I would report this earthquake. It's not far. Oh, uh, how about how many miles? Let's see. 88, almost 89 miles from the earthquake that they had in 2010. That was a magnitude 5.0. It was probably one of the largest earthquakes in this area of Canada. They don't have a lot of large earthquakes over here um, in Quebec. As you know, many of these fault zones have been recently reactivated. And this uh, 5.0 earthquake in 2010, yeah, it was felt over a large area. Um, it also was an interplate earthquake. The biggest threat in this area would be um, an earthquake along the St. Lawrence Rift System, along with yeah, the numerous nuclear power plants. Here's one, BWXT Nuclear Energy Canada. Let me zoom in a little bit. There's BT or BWTX Darlington, Ontario, um, Consolidation, REGIA. All right, here's the one. It's RE Guinea. A nuclear power plant. Let me bring this out. Um, the reason I bring those up is you worry about nuclear war. Well, yeah, nuclear war is a great threat. But the uh, nuclear power plants, um, if something was to happen to them, that would be a constant uh, release of radiation where an atomic bomb, uh, you may have to take shelter for about two weeks and then do the uh, precautionary um, measures for radiation but the fallout from a nuclear bomb you only have to worry about two weeks where a nuclear power plant um, yeah that would be ongoing continuous release of yeah the deadly radiation but seeing how USGS didn't report this earthquake and there was no reports of people saying they felt this 3.9 I was wondering if anyone there in Canada did feel this earthquake. And the reason you're having interplate earthquakes is because of the movement of the continents, the different plates, and it's building up stress. Normally you have earthquakes along plate boundaries, but when they're not moving, think of it kind of like a buckling. You know, the front of the train stopped and this is still wanting to move. So EMSC said it was 19 kilometers in depth. All earthquakes are measured from sea level, or this would be about 11 miles in depth. You know, along the east coast of the United States, they're having a lot of earthquakes that are interplate earthquakes also. So what are your thoughts? Uh, please put your questions down below if you have anything. Thank you very much for watching. Always be prepared for any type of disaster. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.